Hey, my name's Rob, but that's not the point. The point of this video is how to get your Velo Shutter Boss 2 ball button working with the Sony a7R 3 um, I apologize for the quality of this video, but I just wanted to get the information out there to help others, so let's get right into it and see how this works. I recently bought the a7R 3 and one of the issues that I've been having with it is the fact that I've got a fellow uh, Shutterboss 2 RC S2 2. And on my R2, so the R2, I was able to use the uh, bold release button, long exposure shots, uh, even when the actual fellow was off. I could still use the release uh, for long exposure shots, and the camera would fire in bold mode. So that was something that um, I use a lot, used the, um, the fellow. So when I bought the R3, I was a little bit confused. It doesn't feel like it connects the same way, but it just doesn't have that, doesn't have that click. Again, popping in bold mode, you've got um, nothing. You turn the control on, connection, turn the control on, and just reset it back to standard. Yeah, if you use, actually use the Long exposure button, yeah, nothing happens, right? The timer on, long exposure for, say, like five seconds. Hit start. Camera will expose one, two, three. Wait for fourth, shoot again. On your focus. Um, so it actually works, right? So we know that it works. It's just, for some reason, using this button doesn't trigger the camera. Anyway, I've came up with a little bit of a workaround. If you actually put the camera into two second count countdown mode, you actually can use this button and actually will trigger the countdown and then fire the bulb. So if you trigger and hold, it does the countdown, then the timer starts, and then the bulb will work and it'll release and release it. So a workaround for using the Velo RC S22, Shutter Boss 2 on the A7R3 is to put the, count, the camera into um, two second countdown, self timer, um, and obviously, if you're going to be timing exposure on your remote, just make sure you add two seconds, obviously. So hold and lock, two, one, expose, and then you're actually counting your time there. So if anyone is upgrading um, from the R2 to the uh, um, A7R3, and they already have the Shutter Boss 2, um, or they bought it online thinking it was going to work, um, the involometer works fine, um, and that will work around for using the um, bulb and hold button. The last little test, which I haven't done yet, the batteries are out, is it still? Right? Yeah, it does. That's what a great thing for in the field. If the battery runs done that, you can still do your long exposures on your camera. Alrighty. So hopefully that helps somebody. Um, unfortunately, I found that out at the end of my last trip. And uh, yeah, that's uh, Velo Shutter Boss 2 with the A7R3 workaround to use the bulb and hold button. All right, thanks very much for watching. Hey, it's Rob. If you got this far and you actually watched that horrible outro, uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's at Rob Mullally. That's one other than two. I'll try and put a link in the description. Uh, thank you again for all your support. I appreciate it. If you like stuff like this, subscribe to support me. Thanks very much.